And so Korea, Joe, so like, um, when you went off the war to Korea and, you know, um, you were in England to Korea or whatever. So when the women found more um, independence, when the men were gone and you came back and they had a different idea running, did you steal it and take it and then tell them what to do with it? And then run down to Mexico. So so after, during World War II, one, two, Vietnam, Korea, you know, um, the women, while you men were... Um, overseas or whatnot they found new freedom and set up their own idea so then you come down underneath when you come back and you know start telling them what to do and then take their idea and then fuck it all up and then once you guys take their stuff then you go run away and hide again and then start another war so then when the men go overseas like the Gulf War or you know any of the other wars recently but the Afghan War then you guys um, go and you know while the women or the children find independence, you guys come in and grift them and steal it. And then tell them what to do and then fuck it up. And then you guys, while that's all fighting, there's a new war over here. Then you guys go back overseas and then, you know, do the same thing. Take all their stuff, tell them what to do and then fuck it up. And then come back, back forth, back forth. See Jim Riley, Joe Zillig, Harry Race, Bernard Lachance, DJ Day, Perlita Quinwan, Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, 1961 Amphibious Baseman, GPS Paso Robo Rapist Knight. Red Randy, Red Gordon, and uh, Ellery's. C. L. Cortez, Red Randy, and then L. Vira. Hey, Red Randy, do you have something, or you know, your team steals something that you don't know how to use, and you then you guys fucked it up, commit a rape or a murder, and you know, you guys think you're just some super badasses, and that's why you're getting fucked massively again, Red Randy, because she and some other people know that you're the dumb shit of the fucking earth, like three or four hundred times consecutively. Hillbilly squad, all American. Karen Vows the country and western. See, now we know, like, Karen and them, like, uh, spearheaded the war campaign for Joe, the cowboy and Indian fest. Runaways! And that's why things are all fucked up, because you guys kept running around, stealing everybody's shit, killing them like a bunch of cowboy crazy Indians running, like, Lust Custer's last stand and shit, because Stanley was the favorite of the white all-American. And Dilla Joe, yeah, this is why I tell them in your team, Joe. Because like I said, your team, dumb fuck. For screwing with Greg Faust's stuff and my stuff. And Ron Miller's and Brian Miller's stuff. Or Jay Beswick's or Mel Cobes. Um, Car or, or Colin Powell. Just plain fucking stupid. That you cowboy hillbillies come up and play your all-American game. Stealing foreign stuff. Screwing with Hollywood celebrities, women who had a better idea. Always, dude. If you guys had trusted in the women, you men would be all decent. You'd have a different way. But you know, you know those war type Joe comes back over. I'm gonna come back under and Ethan start telling everybody what to do with their stolen stuff. Get to life. See how what you're doing, Perlita, Steve Jones, and Dave Balamorad, with all this money and your drug money, how fucking stupid you all are for your war campaign and Carney Bernard's made up story. Of La Fagula chance. That's not a war, Bernard. See, like I said, Bernard didn't inherit did pick Pickin Street, Jamaica Street, sleeps with some women you shouldn't have. They did bat for crawl into beds with children. There you go for your eye, Bernard. And Harry and Joe, Doug. Steve. Indian Joe, Taco Joe, Bridges of La Dumb Fucking shit. So when you reported to the Queen from so from Korea, Joe, about the three women, your three daughters, then what? She find out you're full of fucking shit and you run to Mexico and start the same campaign. All American. And then fuck over Carl. And then Greg. And then, you know, relatives in Florida. Terrorist attack against the women and their idea. When you guys came back from your war. So they were actually getting you guys set up to be retired probably in World War II, Joe. Or from Vietnam. And you fucked it all up, taking it all over and telling them what to do. There's the tech on him. All American! In his showboat with that fucking plane and shit about how great of a white penis he had, but really proved how big of a dumb fuck he was.